Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be showing you how you can do a false shuffle. So as you can see this is the order of the deck and let's just do a false shuffle. So just like that. And as you can see here is how the cards they are in the same order as before. I have a brand new deck and let me do it once again with this deck of cards. And also if you want to buy this deck of cards then you can just check out the link in the description. And let me show you the false shuffle once again. So we have of course some add cards that we don't need. Let's just just throw this one away just like that and let's do the false shuffle let's do it once again so all the cards are in the standard position and now I'm going to give the deck a false shuffle just like that and the cards they are back in the same original position just like that this is actually a really cool false shuffle that in my opinion should be done in the offbeat but can also be done while the spectator is looking at your hands this is actually quite simple and here's how this is done so for this tutorial i will first use a deck which already has been shuffled and then we will do it together with a deck which is in the standard position so here's how this is done if you don't know how to do the overhand shuffle then make sure you learn that first before you move on to this false shuffle so here's how this is done you're going to start in the overhand shuffle grip which of course is just this basic shuffle that and that anyone can do and what you're going to do is you're going to count to six so First of all, try this. When doing this, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, so I would advise that you practice on doing this. That you simply cut it in half and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is what I would advise you to do. Just practice doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here's how I usually count it. When I do it, when I perform this, then I usually count it like this. So 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3. So that is how you should count it, or that's how I like to count it at least. And when I do it in front of spectators, then I usually talk to them, and then I do it like this and hold a break, and then once again so that's just a few ideas before we actually go into detail of this move so once you have been counting one two three four five six and you feel like you are comfortable with that then you can move on and learn the remaining of the move so here's how you started off you cut it around the half and i simply do it like this and then you count one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth card, it's going to be outjocked or injocked or what the f you want to call it. And then the remaining of the deck is going to go on top. From this angle, you are going to flash. And if you do flash, then it really doesn't matter for the spectator because they just think you are shuffling the deck. And now your thumb is going to go down and you're going to get a break above that card and you're going to take the top so just like that and you're going to count to six once again so one two three four five six and drop the rest on top here's how you can do it you can take half of the deck and then you can turn that over just like this so as you can see right now we are in this position and then you can try it out so one two three four five 
six, this is uh, jocked, and then one, the whole packet on top, and now your thumb is going to go inside, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and you are back in the same position as you started. So yes, quite simple, uh, let's do it with this deck once again, where all the cards, as you can see, are in the standard position when you take them out. So, quite simple, just like this, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, and then you place the rest on top, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and boom, just like that. So, usually when I out-jock, in-jock the card, then I do this, I just do one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then I use my thumb to out-jock the card. Uh, some people, most people, they actually place it like this, but I usually square it up to the deck and then I use my thumb to pull the card or pull the cards aside and then I stick my thumb in, that's what he said, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and now you are back in the same position as before. Uh, so woof, just like that. It's actually quite awesome, quite simple, and as I said before, when I perform for spectators, then I talk, and then I just do this. So, while talking, I count three cards and three cards again, and then, just like that, and then I am back in the same position as I was before. And actually, when I do it for the spectator, I don't even count. So, I just want to get rid of the cards, it doesn't look so elegant, now it looks a little bit more professional, alright? When I perform for spectators, I don't count, I just remember the rhythm, I just remember one, two, three, and then I hold a break, and then I talk to the spectator, and then one, two, three, and then I out-jock, boom, and then I can talk to the spectator, like, yeah, you remember the card, I also ate pizza, and then you do this, and then you do one, two, three, hold a break, talk, and one, two, three. So, that is basically how I do it while talking to the spectator, and it actually works, no one thinks it's a false shuffle, because why would you false shuffle the deck, I mean... It's most people think it's impossible to do. It might be difficult to learn and get used to, but the technique is not too difficult. So yeah, uh, just simply while talking, you can just do this and then like that and the remaining three cards and now you are back in the same position as you was before. So anyways, thank you for watching, that is basically all I wanted to show you, and it's fun to practice, fun to do, man, that was a uh, tight hole, if you know what I mean. So yes, thank you for watching, I really hope that you enjoy this, and let's make the uh, the the heart disappear now look what just like that as you can see it's right here if i just drop it like this then it uh, lands you know once again right there uh, the ace of hearts actually so yes it's quite amazing oh whoa 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 that was a triple lift we're actually able to change it once again just like that to the blank card so yes that is all i wanted to show you thank you guys for watching i really hope that you enjoy this video and make sure to like comment and subscribe once again if you want to buy this deck of cards then make sure to check out the link in the description so yes thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video